Hello, Culinary 2 Kids. So, I am now going to do a demonstration for you on one of the different advanced cooking techniques that uh, you're working on in your current assignment. So, this one is caramelization. What are we doing here? Well, today, I'm gonna to show you two different techniques. Uh, one is how to caramelize bananas and how to do apples. So, we're gonna start with the bananas first. So, as you can see here, I have my mise en place. I have my brown sugar, my cinnamon. I've already measured the cinnamon out. I got two tablespoons, two stable tablespoons of butter, and two bananas. So, and over here I got my stove and ready to throw things in, but let me show you the prep work we're gonna do on this first. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut the bananas, okay? Hopefully you guys can see this clearly here, so let's move this over, okay? I'm just gonna cut the top off the bananas, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to just cut a little slit just to easily peel off the bananas. It's easy to take the, uh, the skin off of them, like so. Okay, and these look like they're perfectly ripe. You don't wanna get ones that are too green. So you wanna make sure you get some that are, oops, uh, some that are just Ripe enough, but not too ripe. Okay, oops, this one's coming apart here. Okay. Then I'm gonna chop off the very end of it because those aren't parts you want on the banana. They're a little bit, not so good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna slice these bananas. We're gonna just, and I just have a paring knife here. You know, try to do equal sizes as you can, as much as you can. Okay, and then this one here, do the same thing. And if you get any of these little stringy things on the bananas, just take those off. Oops, a little big there. And there's our bananas. Okay, so now, one second, let me clean up. Always keep yourself, always keep yourself clean. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cook these in a brown sugar butter sauce. So let me move the camera over here so you can kind of see what we're gonna do here. So this is, hopefully you can see this clearly here. I'm gonna move this a little bit over here. There you go. Okay, and now let me take my butter. Got two tablespoons here. Got my brown sugar ready, and then we're gonna put some cinnamon on the end of it. So let me heat up my stove. Got a gas stove. And I'm not gonna have it too high. I just wanna get it like a medium, medium heat. Okay, so we're just gonna let that take the butter. And just take the butter and that into the pan and notice it's going to start melting here okay so you want to get it to the point where it's almost all melted you can see here coat the pan a little bit now we're also I'm going to also be giving you guys demos as well later on on the gelatinization, making roux and such like that. Also, I'm going to be sharing with you how to do the emulsification. I'm gonna make a mayonnaise, and I'm also going to show you a technique to make uh, salad dressing. So, now we're gonna take the brown sugar, put all the brown sugar in. Wooden spoon, or wooden, And we're just going to start stirring it. Okay. I'm going to lower the heat a little bit, a little too hot. Okay. And notice what it's doing here. Kind of starting to caramelize a little bit. Starting to make a nice, lovely flavor. In fact, I'm going to lower down even more. Okay. Now, kind of look at the color here. Kind of getting a little brownish. What 
I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my bananas. Single layer here, like so, so they all get cooked. Okay, and you can hear the sizzle. I'm just gonna let them sit there for a minute while they're sauteing in the caramel sauce. What I want them to do is I want them to get kind of golden, kind of a Toast it to them, a little bit of caramelization. So, just kind of let them cook here. Okay. I'm just going to leave them alone for, for a minute. I'm just going to kind of lightly toss them. And by the way, it smells really good here. So. And then the question is, how long do you let them cook? Just until you can start seeing them get a little bit, kind of a little toasty with the uh, brown sugar mixture. Took me about five minutes until they get real syrupy. And now I'm gonna just start tossing them a little bit. And this is what you can do for this assignment. So if you wanted to, like I said, you guys can choose to do a vegetable. You can do like an onion, sweet peppers. You can do fruit like apples, bananas. I'm gonna show you how to do the apples and bananas here. And if I have time, I will definitely show you guys also how to do the onions and peppers. So that's kind of the goal, like some sweet peppers with some onions and caramelize those. Um, there are videos in the classroom that kind of talk about these concepts. So, and notice, as you can see here, and we're not going to touch them too much. I just want them to kind of start getting a little bit more. So, I'm going to give it a few more minutes, and then we will almost be done. So, really, there isn't a lot to this kind of process. Now, you could put a little bit more butter in it if you want. You could put a little bit more brown sugar if you want a little sweeter. You know, you can kind of customize this. But this was two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and two bananas that I put into it. And then, I'm gonna start moving them around a little bit. And it looks like they're pretty much done. Now, just to put a little bit of extra to it, I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Just a tiny bit. Okay, I like cinnamon. And this, you can put this on ice cream. You could put this, I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna put these on some waffles, so. And then make some waffles, put a little syrup, put some little butter on it, and I'm gonna put these on top of it with the uh, apples that I make too. So that is it. So I'm gonna turn the heat off now. And that is your caramelized apples. I mean, I'm sorry, caramelized bananas. So that's all you have to do if you want to do this for that part of the assignment. Here you go. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much, and uh, we'll be back with the other videos.